Next up, we're going to talk about how you can add or change the columns in your data frame. So there are two different things that you can do here. First of all, you can have a column and you wanna do something to the values inside that column to change it. So we'll look at an example where we have a mix of upper and lowercase letters in a column, and we wanna change it so that every value in that column, every character string that's a value in that column is only in lowercase. So in that case, we're taking the column and we just wanna mutate it, change it in place, so we have a new um, revised version of it. The other thing that you might want to do is make some new columns that are functions of values in your existing columns. So in that case, we'll be mutating to create a new column. Both of these ideas use a function from dplyr called mutate. So this is the general convention. It will take in first the data frame, just like everything we've been looking at so far in the last few sets of videos. And then you'll put in, in order, the, the way that you want to either change columns in place or add new columns. And you can do a mixture of that. So here I've set this up as generic code just to kind of show the usage. But again, we're gonna do that idea of having two values with an equal sign in between and then separating sets of those with commas. So we'll go through and for each thing that we wanna change or add, on the left-hand side, we'll put the column name. That will be an existing column name if we wanna change a column in place or the name of a new column if we want to create something new. And then on the right-hand side of the equal sign, we will express how that can be created through a function from the original columns. So here's a cartoon version of that. First of all, for changing a column in place, let's say that in our Harry Potter toy data set, the column for last name gave everything all in uppercase. And we want it instead to be in what's called title case, where the first letter of any new word is capitalized, but letters after that are in lowercase. There is a function in the stringer package, which we'll start using in this set of, of uh, slides, that's called string to title, S-T-R to title. And that will take a character string and it'll change it to this title case. So we can use mutate. First, we'll need to put in the name of the data frame we're working with, and here that's HP data. And then we need to put in this expression. So on the right-hand side, we've got the function that we want to run. We want to take the existing column name to last name. We've got that right here. And we want to run the function string to title on that. And then we want to take the output from doing that and stick that back where last name was to start with. So we won't get a new column. We'll get that same column with that same name. It'll just have the, the, the um, strings revised within it they'll be the output of running this function. And you can see over here, now we'll have things in this title case that we want. So we can take a look at doing this in our real data frame. We'll look at daily show again. And if you look at the job column there, you'll see that sometimes it's got some capital letters and sometimes it's all in lowercase. And so we might wanna fix this before we start exploring a little bit more so that we've got consistency. Also, just as a note here, I was trying to pull out the first 10 values of that column. So if you remember back to the odds and ends from chapter one, that video lecture, one way we can do that is we can take the data frame and use a dollar sign to pull out one of the columns and put it back in its original vector form. And then I'm using square bracket indexing here to pull out the first 10 values from that. So in this case, we're going to use a function from the stringer package to move everything into lowercase. And just like we had str to title to change everything to title case, there is an str to lower to change everything to lowercase. So let's go into R and see what that looks like. Again, I'll be working with the data frame we've kind of been building up over the series of the last few slides. If, you've, if you have RStudio open and you've just left it open, you likely already have that up and running if you're going along with the slides and trying out the code. But if not, you can um, take your code from before, hopefully you put it in a script, and you can just rerun everything and then test and make sure that you do have Daily Show up and that it looks about like you want it to look. So now we're gonna use mutate. Again, the first value is the name of our data frame, so Daily Show. And then we're going to put in, and what we want to do here is we want to take job to this column, and we want to replace it. So we're going to end up with job on the left-hand side of the equal sign because we want to modify the column in place. We don't want a new column. We just want to replace the one that's already there. 
Now we'll do this function, string to lower. And again, if you look in my code, part of my code here was to load that string R package. So you need to make sure that's loaded. And if you don't have it already, you might need to do install.packages to pull that in. So we'll do string to lower, and we want to do that on the job column. So now when I run that, you can see down here that everything is starting to look like it's in a lowercase. Right now, it's doing that, but it's not overwriting what we had before. So if we run just daily show again, you can see we're back to this case where some of them are still in capital. So again, if we want to overwrite and have da the daily show object have this new, better version of it, then we need to make sure that we assign that by putting it on the left-hand side, that same object name, and then having a get zero. And then I just cleaned up the, um, the indentation here. So if I run that and now come down and check daily show, you can see now everything is indeed in lowercase. So this is just, again, confirming that this is another way you can check by using that dollar sign operator and the indexing to pull out the first 10 values just of that column. So the other thing we might want to do is to add new columns. So in this case, I'm showing an example where we might want to get just the last initial, add on a new column that just says the first initial of the last name of each person. So in this case, we'll again use mutate, but now on the left-hand side of that equal sign, it will not be the name of a column that's already there. Instead, you pick what you want to name that new column, and you'll put that on the left-hand side. Then on the right-hand side, again, we have our function. And then in this case, we're using a function called str sub. So that's pulling just a substitute based on position. And by saying one and one, it says we want to take from the first letter to the first letter. So in other words, just the first letter of last name. Right now, I'm just kind of like um, doing a small introduction to these string R functions, but later in a later week, we'll go really deeply into that. So it's all right if you don't know a lot about those right now, just focus on this mutate function for right now. We can do a similar idea in the daily show. Let's say for some reason that we want a new column where we have each of the jobs in uppercase. So we can, again, use mutate to do that. And we'll put in that the data is daily show. Now this time, we need to decide what we want that new column to be named. So I'll do UC for uppercase and then job. And now, and, and notice again, this time, this name is not something that we already had in the column name. So now I can do string to upper. This is a function that will from string R that will turn all of the letters in the character string into uppercase. And then I put that as, as um, a function that's being applied to a column I already have there. And you could do this for one or more columns, like you could multiply two columns together and get the value here. So in this case, I want to do this on the original job column. So if we run that, you can see that it's put a new column with the column name that I specified, and then the result of running that function on the original column of job. Again, if we want to assign this, we need to do that get zero and the assignment. And then if we want, we can clean this up.